Um, my hero was Muhammad Ali, and he went on from being an Olympic champion then to being a world champion. And I'd love to be able to em emulate my hero and be able to do that as well. Great Britain's Nicola Adams would achieve that dream, and so much more. I love inspiring the next generation. Um, I love inspiring the girls in, in boxing as well. Um, when I was growing up, I, I didn't have an Olympic champion to, to look up to as a, as a female, so now, now they have one, a double Olympic champion at that as well. Adams may have been forced to retire at the age of 37 due to an eye injury, but the impact the smiling assassin has had on women's boxing will inspire generations to come. In 2019, the pioneering pugilist bowed out with an unbeaten professional record after her sixth fight. A successful defense of her WBO flyweight title against Mexico's Maria Salinas, which resulted in a torn pupil and possibly permanent blindness should she compete again. Adams was the first female boxer to represent England the first English woman to medal at a major competition with silver at the European Championships. And then at London 2012, the first ever Olympic gold medalist in women's boxing. It's still, you know, all sinking in. I, I just can't believe what I've, what I've achieved it today. You know, it's, it's a, definitely a childhood dream come true. Adams would go on a gold medal run capturing consecutive European and World Championships before defending her Olympic crown at Rio 2016, making her the first dual gold medal winning female boxer in history. Carrying her nation's flag at the 2015 European Games in Baku was a particularly emotional moment for the star. My mum's absolutely overwhelmed with joy. She's, she's so proud of me. She keeps, she keeps messaging me, ringing me, and saying how proud she is. So um, I know I've made everybody, all my friends and family, um, back home really, really happy. Not everybody gets, to, gets the opportunity to lead the whole of Team GB into the, into the stadium for the opening ceremony. So um, I'm really honored and excited. Having conquered all that the amateur world could throw at her, Adams turned pro. I've achieved everything that I wanted to achieve as an amateur boxer. I became a world champion, um, European champion, Commonwealth Games champion, and double Olympic champion, and, and then leaving the sport ranked number one as well to top it off. And Adams would achieve another victory. No, not a belt or a medal, but by signing with promoter Frank Warren, a staunch advocate against women boxing up until then, the partnership signaled a major win for women in the male-dominated sport. Well, I'm, I'm here eating humble pie today because I've not been the greatest advocate of uh, women's boxing, but we're here today because uh, my head's been turned for the fantastic achievements that uh, this young lady has done in the sport. In 2019, Adams got fans excited via Twitter by possibly hinting at an Olympic return to make it three gold in a row but it wasn't meant to be. And now the women's flyweight division at Tokyo is wide open for a new champion to claim the crown once the games take place following their postponement due to the coronavirus pandemic. And India's Mary Kum is intent on turning her London 2012 bronze into Tokyo gold. My dreams is not fulfilled yet because uh, gold medal, Olympic gold medal, every athlete is dreaming that, you know. The five foot two inch star has been a force in the 46 and 48 kilo division since 2002, collecting six world championships and Commonwealth gold, but all won in her natural lower weight classes. But there was no professional path for fighters of her size, and the Olympic Games was yet to allow women to compete in boxing. That all changed at London 2012, but the move up in weight proved too much, and she was beaten by the bigger Adams in the semifinals. After the birth of her third child in 2013, Kam would return one year later to capture Asian Games gold, but failed to book a spot at Rio in a dramatic upset being beaten by unknown Albanian Aziz Nemani in the qualifiers. 
Tom qualified for her second Olympic Games when she won a unanimous decision over Irish Magno of the Philippines at the Asian Oceania qualifiers in Amman, Jordan, showing glimpses of beautiful boxing and why she is a top contender for gold at the Games. Well, looking rather ragged on her feet. That's a yeah. beautiful right left combination from Calm. Shot up from the kneecap. Then brings the left cross. The Indian legend will be confident her two decades of experience in the sport will outwit her younger rivals once the Tokyo Games kick off. Happy to take her place upon Adam's vacant throne in her final appearance before retirement. Magnificent Mary is ready for the fight of her life. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.